Hello everyone, today we are going to do the first pickup video in 2020. We will cover the games I got from December last year to February this year. I actually got most of my games during the end of January to the first half of February. There are a lot of games we will go over in this video. Let's get a start now. We want to start with Space Buy. The first game is Guacamelee 1 2 Punch Collection. I actually ordered this one on Cyber Monday last year. It took a while to get it delivered, that's why I didn't make it into Black Friday pickup video. I remember it cost me $20, and this collection includes two games Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition and Guacamelee 2. I actually beat the Super Turbo Championship Edition before, since it was PS Plus free game. I still need to get the Platinum Trophy. This collection also comes with DLC, so I can even try to get 100%. Next is Stingward Dick 2. The only reason I got this one is because it's only $5. I don't think I will play this game unless I have nothing to play. I have seen this game went on sale a couple times already. If you are interested, you should just watch out Best Buy's deal. Next is a JRPG, Zenki Zero, Last Beginning, Day 1 Edition. I got this one for $30, which is a little bit pricey. I was actually in a dilemma whether getting the game right away or waiting for a better deal. Considering this kind of JRPG normally has low print, so I just decided to grab it. This game actually censored in North America, which everyone should get used to it by now. For the next two games, I used Price match with GameStop. The first one is Sinking City Day 1 Edition. Just like I say in my unboxing video, it's only $10, which is a really good deal. When the first time I watched the game trailer, I didn't really think I would buy the game. However, for only $10, it's worth a shot. Next is a racing game, Truck Racing Championship. This is one of those unusual games I like to collect and play. It's only $20, which is an acceptable price. I know a lot of people are not interested in this kind of game, but I'm actually very excited to play it. The last game from Best Buy is Battlefield 5 Deluxe Edition, and it also came with a free steel book. I know the game had a lot of issues when it first came out. I was actually interested in this game, but I didn't want to pay too much for it. I was waiting to see if the game can drop to $20. Turns out it's even better. This one is only $15 with Deluxe Edition and the Steelbook. Also, there is no Season Pass this time, which is great. Next, let's check GameStop. There is only one game. GameStop actually had a lot of great deals in the past months. The problem is majority of their brand new games are not sealed. That's why I need to go to Best Buy, get a price match, or directly buy it from Amazon. To be honest, now I don't even want to waste my time to go to their store unless I have no choice. The only game I got from there is Hellmart. The game is GameStop exclusive at this moment, so I have no choice. I must go to their store to pick it up. I actually went to a couple different stores to find a sealed copy. The price is $20, which is not too bad. I am still not so sure what kind of game this is. I guess we will find out once I do unboxing. Most likely, this will be my next unboxing video. Now let's check the games I got from Target. Target had a list by two get one free deal. Therefore, I picked three $20 games. That means I got each one around $13. The first one is Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game too. This is one of the games I am looking to play. The price recently dropped to $20. However, from last year's experience, it probably will go as low as 15. That's why I decided to wait. Now I get it even cheaper. It's definitely a good deal. Next, we have couple Lego games. When it comes to Lego games, my rule is not spending more than $15 per game. The only reason I play this kind of game is for trophies. Here we have the Lego Movie 2. I actually heard this one is pretty easy. Therefore, I might play this one very soon. The other one is Harry Potter Collection. You got two games in one package. That means two play on trophies. Finally, we want to check Amazon. I actually got a lot of games from Amazon this time. 
the star was cup against I ordered in the end of last year. The first one is Kotodama, The Seven Mysteries of Fujisawa, a video novel which we did unboxing already. This one cost me $19. For video novel, I think the price is acceptable. I actually got a lot of video novel last year, so I need to find some time to clear my backlog. The other game is Tour de France 2019. A lot of people from North America might not hear this series, but the series actually does digital release every year since the last generation. I believe this is the first time they did a physical release in the US. Therefore, I was very excited and I picked it up for $20. Unfortunately, there's a glitch trophy right now, so I don't think I will play this game until they fix it. That means we will not do unboxing anytime soon. Here we have another unusual game, Beast Simulator. I got this one for $20. When the first time I saw the game, I thought this is a prank. Then I realized this is actually real, and I also heard the game is not that bad. Therefore, I'm definitely looking forward to play it. Next, we have Wolfenstein. Young Blood Deluxe Edition. If you order it from Amazon, you can get an exclusive controller skin. I only paid $17 for it, which is a very good price for a deluxe edition. I do not buy Wolfenstein 2 because of its stupid trophy list. However, for the spin off, I wouldn't mind to give it a shot, even though I heard the game does not receive a very positive review. Next, we have another racing game, and it's actually an interesting one. Garfield Kart Furious Racing. I don't know how many this kind of Mario Kart ripoff we will see on the market. However, if anyone is going to develop a new one, I would suggest Serum Kakura Kart. Back to this Garfield Kart. It's only $15, and the game has no plan on trophy. I bought this one is because I'm kind of curious what the gameplay looks like. One more racing game, Grip Combat Racing, and this is the Air Blast VS Rollers Ultimate Edition. This edition basically just includes all the DLC. I actually had a hard time to decide if I want to purchase this one or not. I mean, it's only $15, so the price is good. However, I'm not so sure if this is a type of racing game I will enjoy. I guess the only way to find out is actually playing it. Okay, two more games to go. Next is Everspace Stellar Edition. This edition includes Encounters DLC. Everspace was released as digital only before, then later on, there are a couple different editions on the market. This stellar edition is the most common one you can get from some of the major retailers. I got it for $20, which is 50% off. If you are looking for an Xbox One edition, that one is actually GameStop exclusive. Last, now the list. We have Dusk Diver Day 1 Edition here. We actually did unboxing a week ago. If you want to know what includes in this Day 1 Edition, you can check the video I included in the end. I stopped playing this game recently and I must say it's a pretty interesting game. It's actually over my expectation. This is the game I definitely want to get a plan on trophy. That's it. Those are all the games I got in the past 3 months. I know it's a lot, so that means I should take a little bit of break. I think I'm going to end the video right here. If you have any question or want to see me unboxing any of those skin in March, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more unboxing in the future.